TJ, what do you see your role being on this team, which is obviously, I think the average age is 13. <laughs> um, I don't know. You know, as a player, I don't think my role is going to change. Um, I think for the first time in my career, I'll be more of a vocal leader. Like you said, we've got a young team, and um, just to be that guy that people look at to, to expect to lead and, and, to, and to hopefully follow. Um, you know, I'm, I've always been a guide that leads by example, but I'm, I think I'm going to have to use my voice a little bit more this year. You've been in the league a couple of years. What is it like? I'm asking this question in reference to Miles. What is it like for guys, pro, pro players, to see their names constantly in trade rumors? How, how, how does that work? How does it impact you? Um, you know, I've always said if, if I don't hear from the GM or you know, from Chad or, or KP, I don't really pay attention to rumors that are on the internet. So many people can just put out mock trades and, and all these different stuff. You know, until I hear it from the people that are making the decisions here, I don't pay attention to that stuff. Tyrese was telling a story it was just about how you, you were empowering him in the gym and really, like there was a shot at the end he hadn't taken, you were just told him to do it next time. Like, what's it like just having this leadership, and, like bring this knowledge to these young guys like Tyrese and Benedict and the rest of them, really teaching them how he used to do it? Yeah, like I said, it's different. Um, I've, for the most part, except for my first two years in Philly, and, and now I've been on veteran teams where we had guys that do that. And it's kind of one of those things where you look yourself in the mirror and say, you know, it's time for you to take a step, um, and then your next step as a leader. And, you know, that's mentally, emotionally, physically, and just do anything you can to help these guys navigate their path. How does this feel similar to maybe your first couple of years? Um, similar but different. I was... You know, my head was spinning when I came into the NBA, and that's why I feel like it's my job to help these guys because, you know, 82 games, um, the speed of the game from college to here is completely different um, just to help them get comfortable and any questions that they have and, and push them to be the best. How about just, oh, sorry. No, you're good. How about just it. in terms of gutting the roster and kind of not quite a process? But. Yeah. You know that you're talking about like the turnover of the roster and yeah. stuff. Yeah, I mean, and going young. I mean, when I got here three years ago, I think there's only me, Miles, and Goga left. So, um, but that's the NBA, and you kind of just have to move on from that. You know, build relationships with guys and still talk to them off the court. But I like what we are building here. You know, we've got a lot of young talent and so, and a lot of things to look forward to. Um, and I'm excited to get on the court with these guys. You know, Go ahead. When you were dealing with the wrist thing last year, you were almost operating as a coach a lot in practice. How will that kind of help you this year when you're tasked being more of a leader and a teacher for younger players? Yeah, I feel like sitting out helped me in a way, like you said, kind of being a coach off the floor, just seeing stuff from a different perspective. Um, you know, whether that's the way we play, how hard we play. Um, you know, I, I feel like it kind of helped me, like you said, pull guys aside and tell them what I see and. And I feel like I'm going to be doing that more this year. Rest is all good now, too. Yep, all good, um, 100%. You've been here with, through the open runs the last couple of weeks. What's the temperatures like of this group that you've taken from it so far? Um, fast paced. You know, we got a lot of young legs, and um, you know, in life, 30 years old isn't isn't very old. But feel like an old guy out there um, running next to 22, 23 year olds. But it's been great to see. You know, all the young guys here and, and everyone trickle into the gym and the positivity and, um, you know, the way we're going to play is exciting. So, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. Coming back from the wrist, did it take any time to fully trust it again and feel comfortable going 100%? I feel like those three games that I came back last year pretty much took any doubt out of my mind. Um, that's kind of why I did it. I didn't want to sit here all summer and be like, How's it going to feel when I come back this year? I just kind of wanted to get those nerves out of the way, and i um, extremely happy that I did that. How will you define success this season for this team? Um, you know, like I said, we're young, but if there's one thing we can control, it's how hard we play each night, you know, paying, paying attention to scouting reports, to the small details, taking care of our bodies. Um, you know, these, these fans are great here, and. If we give anything less than 100%, um, I don't think any of us, any of us will be happy about that.
of this off season personally compared to, to the previous year where you and your dad were really working? Was mm -hmm. that very similar, or did you tweak things up at all? Um, no, I kind of I kind of went off on my own, and I, I loved working with him. He he got a new job as a uh, head basketball coach for another high school, so he was doing a lot of that. And um, we, uh, I mean, I kind of just had whoever was willing to rebound um, come there and just stay in great shape. 